September brings with it the winds of change. Mother Nature begins to peel off her green summer dress and adorns a vibrant melange coat of gold, orange, and crimson. September also ushers the beginning of the Matsutake mushroom season. A season that mushroom lovers everywhere eagerly await. Matsutake mushrooms are spicy, intense, and unforgettable. They take you on a sensory adventure like no other. One taste, and you'll either love them without abandon or hate them forever. There's no room for in-betweens. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at the Matsutake mushroom. Matsutake mushrooms are native to Japan, where they typically grow at the base of red pine trees. In the US, Matsutake mostly grows along the Washington coast, although mushrooms foragers sometimes find them in Northern California, Idaho, and Oregon. They have also been found in China, Korea, and Northern European countries like Finland and Sweden. Matsutake mushrooms have a mycorrhizal relationship with various tree species. Most often, they grow under pine and fir trees. Hunters can occasionally find them growing under hardwoods like oaks and tan oaks. Their scientific name is Tricholoma matsutake. There is another edible and very closely related species, called Tricholoma magnavelaire, or American matsutake. These mushrooms grow in coniferous forests east of the Rockies. They are sometimes called pine mushrooms in New England. Matsutake mushrooms typically measure around 10 to 20 centimeters in diameter, with smooth round convex caps, which have noticeably curled edges that flatten out as they age. These exotic mushrooms are expensive, and might even be in the same league as truffles and caviar. In Japan they are considered to be an extravagant gift. Carefully packed in wooden boxes, they are given on the most special occasions. The caps start their lives with a smooth white appearance but later develop brown scales and tan spots as they continue to mature. Beneath the cap, you will see tan and white gills that have a cotton-like veil that shields them as they grow. Matsutake mushrooms are easy to mix up with other species of mushrooms that are poisonous, especially white varieties of poisonous Amanita mushrooms like death caps, which are pictured here. Never eat a wild mushroom without running it past an expert. Matsutake mushroom season runs from September through December. You can also sometimes find fresh Matsutake mushrooms during the fall at local farmers markets and specialty grocery stores. Cleaning and storing Matsutakes. Store-bought commercially grown mushrooms are generally clean, although it is always a good idea to brush them off with a damp paper towel before you cook them. If you harvested your matsutake yourself, use a mushroom brush or a soft pastry brush if you don't have one to remove excess soil and dirt and then wipe them off with a paper towel. Avoid using too much water. If the underside of the mushroom gets wet, your matsutake will have a soggy, sponge-like texture. Trim and discard the soil-infused bottom part of the stem as well. Wrap whole matsutake mushrooms in aluminum foil before placing them in plastic Ziploc bags or airtight containers to freeze them. Freezing is a better preservation method since drying matsutake alters its flavor significantly. What does matsutake taste like? Matsutake has an unusual, intense, pine-infused spicy aroma. Some people describe it as being pungent, almost like smelling a combination of woody, piney, and fishy aromas, with a hint of red-hot peppers, all rolled into one. There are honestly no words to accurately describe exactly what it tastes and smells like. It's one of nature's incredible infusions that you just have to try out for yourself. Cooking Matsutake When cooking them, the rule of thumb with these babies is, less is more. Too many matsutake and their unique flavor will overwhelm your dish. So, if it's your first time cooking with them, go easy. Start small and work your way up until you find that magical sweet spot where you have just the right amount of matsutake flavor. Don't use dairy ingredients with this mushroom. The pine-like flavor of the mushroom doesn't work well with dairy. These mushrooms have a very powerful aroma. Save the stems and caps to incorporate them in any kind of broth you're making. To enhance the taste, saute them on their own in a pan on high heat. This blooms their flavor before you add them to another dish or broth. They blend beautifully with chicken, fish, and all kinds of seafood. You don't always have to saute them. Try grilling them instead. Marinate them in sugar, dry sherry, or soy sauce, and a great tasting nut or seed oil for a few minutes before roasting them. Then, serve them alongside any main course dish. They also taste great when eaten raw. Drizzle a little nut or seed oil on them and add a pinch of salt for maximum effect. 
Don't overcook them to the point they're too soft. You'll enjoy the texture and flavor more if you serve them when they still have some firmness and crunch to them. Cultivating matsutake is difficult, despite the numerous efforts of farmers around the world. Which is why these mushrooms are so expensive. Still, they are worth the money. If you've never had matsutake before, we highly recommend that you do. It will be an unforgettable culinary experience, that's for sure. Please click the like button if you like this video and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want more information on edible and medicinal mushrooms.